this heaven? No, it's Iowa, and you're watching baseball at Field of Dreams on MLB The Show. Tonight, we've got a good matchup in store between the New York Yankees and the Chicago White Sox. White Sox baseball starts right now. Lucas Giolito will get the starting assignment in this one for the Shy Sox. What do you have for us on him, Danny? Hey, this guy has a four-pitch repertoire, right? And those are a lot of nice options to have. You can go hard soft. You can go in and out. And any time you have four pitches, if you can throw them for strikes, you have the big advantage. And now in the box, D.J. LeMayhew. And we are set for baseball here this evening. Moncada fields it cleanly. Throw on to first That's in that. time, one away. With that, here's a look at the Yankees' starting lineup. Who's the one to watch, Dan? Yeah, I'm keeping an eye on D.J. LeMahieu. This guy put together one of those ridiculous seasons last year. His numbers were off the chart, and he hit everything. Breaking balls, change-ups, splits. The, the league couldn't figure him out, and he went berserk on the whole year. Consistent from April till October. Amazing season. And he lays off for a ball, 2-1. and one. 77 degrees our temperature at game time tonight. Hitters count now. Here's the two and one. Down the left field line and deep. But this is going to wind up a foul ball. One out, nobody on. Ball, ball three. Three and two now. Count is full. Joey Gallo is on deck. And he lays That's off here, ball, ball four, four and he'll become the game's first base runner here with one away. Well, the reason power hitters generally draw more walks than other guys is exactly what we saw right there. Pitchers work around them and nibble the corners a lot more so they don't get burned. He made some good pitches, but he just couldn't get him to chase enough out of the zone. One out, runner at first, and that'll bring up Joey Gallo. Oh, they have him looking awfully confused up there right now. It's one and two. Counts even two and two to Joey Gallo. Runner at first here, one man out. And he fouls this one off. He's got that certainly timed up now. I'd be shocked if the pitcher goes to the well three times in a row with off speed. Fouled off. He takes strike three called on the fastball. Couldn't pull the trigger and there are two away. One thing to know is not all strikeouts are created equal. Right there, he goes down on strikes, but he really made that guy on the mound work for it. And when you're doing that in the first inning, it can have an effect on how deep he's going to be able to go into this start. There's a big difference between that and going down on three or four pitches. At the plate now, Stanton. Two balls and a strike now. Now the 2-1. Fouled away. Slider whiffed on for strike three. A great pitch to put an end to the inning. So no runs here. No base hits. And one man left on. On to the home half now. Yankees zero, White Sox coming up. Major League Baseball is on the show. Garrett Cole, the California-born right-hander, is on the mound. Dan, any thoughts? 
Hey, Matt, this guy has a good repertoire of pitches, and he throws also a knuckle curveball. One guy comes to mind, Mike Mussina, former Oriole and Yankee pitcher, had a real good knuckle curve. It's not an easy pitch to learn, and what's more difficult, it's a difficult pitch for umpires to call strikes, and that's why we don't see a lot of pitchers using it today. And that'll bring up the shortstop, Tim Anderson. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. And it's two balls in the strike ball. for Tim Anderson. Two one. Hit. Edge of the zone that time taken and ruled a strike. Hey, this guy's got an 89 mile an hour changeup. There was a time when 89 was a pretty good fastball. And he wasn't going to hit that one with an or the strikeout, and there's one gone. Really good late bite on that slider right there. The best ones have that late action that just darts at the last minute. They're so tough to get the bat on, and when you've got that good slider going, it's a great strikeout pitch. To the plate now, Cesar Hernandez. Two balls and a strike to Cesar Hernandez. I'd be real surprised if he goes back out away there on the mound. This is a count for a fastball challenge, and we'll see if he's ready for it in the box. Bases are empty, one man out. How? And that's in there above the belt, so it's even now, two and two. They teach pitchers to keep the ball down, but if you can locate upstairs like that, it really gives you the ability to mess with the eye level of the batter. He stays alive, still two and two. Swing and a miss on the fastball that time, out number two. The main job of the number one and two hitters is to set the middle of the order up with an opportunity to do some damage. So when you strike both of them out, you're putting yourself in a pretty good position to make it through the teeth of the lineup without a whole lot of stress. Stepping in now, Jose Abreu. High in the air down the right field line. And that will end up a foul ball. Hey, this guy's dialed in right now. Two strikeouts and still working ahead. This is going to be a tough test for the offense. Struck him out, so he makes quick work of him here. Three straight strikeouts, and the side is retired. And ending in the books tonight, still scoreless here on the show. Anthony Rizzo stands in now. Past history with Lucas Giolito. He's hitless in six tries. Now the one and one pitch. Loud contact there, but it's well fouled. Here comes the one two. He is swung on and missed. He got him on strikes. I'll tell you, it's hard to get more of a confidence boost than striking out the best hitters in the lineup back to back to back. He's looking really sharp right now. So now to the plate, Gary Sanchez. One and two to the Yankees catcher. Threw that fastball right by him. He had no chance to get the barrel of that one. Still hanging with him. Another good swing to keep it going. Still looking for our first hit in the ball game. And a slider two, two. runs away from him there, and the count levels at two and two. And he's getting his money's worth up there now. It's full three and two. Oh, 
lifted in the air to straightaway center. Sheets has to come in from the next area code to put this one away. Wow. Batting seven. The shortstop. Labor. Torres. Two down, no one on base. And that'll bring up Glaber Torres. No score here as we play inning number two. Yankee yeah. shortstop behind in the count one and two. That fastball was a lively one. You could hear the pop of the glove all the way up here. Hey, I admit I'm a little biased. There's nothing better than that pop of a glove on a good fastball. Looking forward to hearing a lot more of that pop the rest of this one. The one-two. We just saw a fastball right there. I would not be shocked if he tries to get this guy to go fishing right here and drops the little off-speed pitch in the dirt. Got him swinging, and that's the third out. One, two, three, go the Bombers. We'll go to the bottom of the second. No score. Ready to go for the last half of the inning, and that'll bring up the former top prospect as a minor leaguer, Yoan Moncada. And that misses two and one. As a veteran out on the mound, pitch that you expect to get a call on, got to believe he keeps pounding that spot until he builds a rapport with the umpire. And it's fouled away. This one's outside quite a bit off the plate that time. Well, you don't see it all that often, but this might be a good time for a 3-2 change. If he can locate it, it's nearly impossible to hit. And that's into the corner, a foul ball in right. Fastball got him looking as that had two seam action on it, one gone. Boy, he's really on a roll on the hill right now. As we roll through it again, remember, he struck out the side in the last inning, and now he picks up right where he left off by striking off the leadoff man here. Let's see if he can keep this going for a little bit. In now, Elo Jimenez. The count is full, okay. three and two to the White Sox DH. Looked to me like he tried to do way too much on that 2-2 pitch. You don't have to come into the zone on that count, but a pitch that far outside isn't going to tempt anyone to swing. Now the payoff pitch home. And a changeup. Couldn't get him to bite, and it's ball four. That was a great battle right there. He tried to get him to chase, but he laid off some really right tough pitches field. and got a walk. Yeah, got to tip the cap to the batter that time. Jeez. For Chicago, Gavin Sheets. The 1-1 home. Nope, ball. is swung on and missed his fifth strikeout already and there are two gone in the inning got him with a good high fastball there yeah, Danny yeah. we see a lot of that pitch in strikeout here. situations hey, these days what makes it so effective I think oh. Matt what makes it such a tough pitch is you're changing eye levels that fastball up looks so enticing to hit that you think you see that ball as a hitter do you think you can drive it but it's really hard to get on top of that good high hard fastball at the plate Andrew Vaughn this is hit high in the air out toward left center. And what an effort on the running play to end the inning. A man left for the White Sox will move to the third with no score.
Top of the third set to get underway and set to go as the third baseman Gio Urshela. Swung on and missed. Really fooled him that time for the first out. It looked like this at bat had the makings of a leadoff walk when it started 3-0. So that's a good job not to give in and battle back to earn the strikeout. That's not all easy to do. Into the box now, Brett Gardner. And this is low, ball two, two and one. Two I love one. everything this pitcher's got working right now. He's got presence. He's got great body language on the mound. He's got fastball command and a nice early feel for his off-speed stuff. Right two. Called strike two as he locks him up there. And here's a changeup in there for a called third strike, and that's the second out of the inning. Two up, two down on strikes in this inning. He looks really sharp out the there, guys. Baseman, DJ Into the box, DJ LeMayhew. One and two to DJ LeMayhew. And he popped him up. Hernandez over to his right. And he makes the catch to retire the side. So the Yanks go 1-2-3. Home half of the third coming up. No score. Bottom of the inning now. And standing in the outfielder, Brian Goodwin. Now the one and one pitch. Waves and misses for strike One, number two. Well, that's a surprising late swing on a heater middle cut right there in a fastball count. He's going to have to turn it up a notch. And that's the first out. Batting nine. The catcher. Zach. Collins. Now with the plate is Zach Collins. Bottom of inning number three, nothing, nothing, our score. Here's a breaking ball, but it doesn't quite find the strike zone. Boy, that's one of the toughest pitches to lay off. A hard breaking ball at the back foot. Tough take on a terrific pitch. High in the air out to center field. Gardner's after it. He gets there, and that's the second out. The batter, the shortstop, Tim Anderson. So the bases are empty here with two gone. And up next, it'll be Tim Anderson. Both teams so far yet to crack the hit column. Swing and a miss, strike two. He is in complete command out on the mound today. He's got all four corners locked in, and now he's raising eye levels to boot. High in the air down the right field line. And it's a foul ball. The two more time. He is swung on and missed. He got him on strikes. One, two, three, go the White Sox. We'll head to the fourth, still scoreless. All set for the start of the inning, and that'll bring up the big bat of Aaron Judge. Still a big bagel in that hit column, and this is where the frustration can start setting in on a team if they're not careful. It's never a good feeling when you know the guy out there on the mound is completely shutting you down. Oh, not cheated on that one. It's two and two. Hey, that was a nasty pitch right there. 
ton of rotation on that ball. You can almost see the red dot from up here. Nasty depth. Fastball swung on and missed for the first down. Boy, it's been a rough go through these middle innings so far. This offense right now really doesn't have an answer for anything that he's thrown. He's attacking up, down, in and out in the strike zone. He's been awfully dominant up to this point. Standing in now, Gallo. And a good eye as he lays off, and the count moves to 2-1 and one now on the Yankee left fielder. Pitching has the upper hand early as we're scoreless in inning number four. Not surprisingly here, this is on the ground to the right side. And there are two away now. Up next for the so with two gone here in the fourth let's check out our pitch speed comparison for the two starters and whoa look at that for a top speed 98 miles an hour that man is flat dealing. Ready now is Giancarlo Stanton struck out in his last trip to the plate. Sometimes you just got to tip your cap to the guy on the mound. He's getting paid to try and get you out as well. Anytime it gets up there. North to seven, count. eight pitch ABs. Sometimes it just comes down to pure execution. Let's see if he makes the adjustment right here. Trying to send him packing for the second time. That's a ball. No runs, no hits, and no errors for the Yankees so far. Swing and a ball hit on the ground. Three balls nope. and two strikes to the Yankees DH. Full count. The 3-2 pitch. And take awfully close there on 3-2, and two, but take your base, says Earl Hendricks. It's ball four. They haven't been able to register a hit now against this guy, but the at least they have a base runner here. Anthony. We'll see if that leads to something. So it's a runner at first with two gone. And into bat next, the left-handed hitting first baseman, Anthony Rizzo. Swing and a miss got him reaching. Collins gathers, and that ends the inning. One left for the Yankees. On to the bottom of the fourth now, still with no score. So now into the box is Cesar Hernandez. He went down on strikes in his last at bat. Yeah, and kind of shocked he got blown away with a fastball. You could tell he was late on that one. And we'll see if he tries to cheat to something this A.B. The 2-2 two -two one more time. Now here's one hit in the air to the right side. And this is going to wind up a foul ball. Into the windup. Here comes the 2 2 pitch. And he fouls this one off. And he can only battle for so long as he's finally set down here after an eight pitch at bat. I'll tell you, he looks really dialed in on the bump right there. He's got a shutout going, and he really seems to have this lineup off balance. Even when he challenges them up in the zone, they don't have an answer for it.
Stepping in now, Jose Abreu. Hit down the line at first. Rizzo is there, and he'll step on first himself for the out. Now batting, the third baseman, Yoan Moncada. Next to dig in, Yoan Moncada. He's 0 for 1 thus far. Cole's ready. 1-1 one, one pitch on its way. Yo, that's up. Slider no, laid up. off for a ball. Team's been struggling on offense. Let your D work for you right here. Pound the zone. There's Down the good ball. fastball, and he can't catch up. Three and two. I can't imagine in a hitter's meeting today, that's the pitch they want to attack. Plus velocity up and in. It's going to be too tough to get the barrel to that pitch today. Line to the right side. Well, this won't get over the second baseman's glove as he's got it to end the inning. Down in order go the White Sox. Through four, still tied, nothing, nothing. Now it'll be Gary Sanchez. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. Hit hard back up the middle. And the fifth inning will start with a ground out, one away. Well, if you're going to bobble the ball, you have to hope it's when a guy is lumbering down the base pass. He's no speedster, so that was a good job to stay calm and make the recovery throw. Next up will be Glaber Torres, struck out in his first at-bat. Yankees still on the lookout for hit number one here. Lifted down the line in left. But this is going to wind up a foul ball. Ah, uh, man, just a hair early on that one and just pulled it foul. It's going to have to find a way to refocus. Not easy to continue an A-B after you just went deep foul. Three and two, full count. Now the payoff pitch home. Fouled off. Making him sweat out there. The seventh pitch coming up. Neither guy willing to give in, and the at bat will continue. Hard hit ball to second, and that gets through for a one out base hit. He takes the turn and heads for second. But the feed to the second baseman is a wide one. So there goes the no-hit bid as they finally get their first knock of the game. Better late than never, huh? It was a memorable first hit, too. I thought maybe he was going to be content to stop at second, but no way. He barrels into third with a triple. Maybe that wakes up the dugout, too. To the plate now, Gio Urshela, right side, hit hard. And a base hit as the run will score from third, and the Yankees score first. It's one to nothing. Boy, it's been tough to score in this one so far now through that. the fifth inning, but that <laughs> RBI base hit right there is a nice breakthrough. Yeah, it's been a great pitcher's duel up until this point. They've been executing on the bump without question, but that RBI knock right there might set the tone for the later innings. At the plate now, Brett Gardner struck him out, and he becomes the ninth strikeout victim thus far. Yeah, as they say, there's a hole oh, in his swing in that location, so a good base. job there of exploiting that. That can be real hard for some guys to overcome when teams start figuring out what locations you just can't handle. In now, D.J. LeMayhew. Two balls and a strike now to the Yankees' leadoff man. 
Urshela is off of first with two away. Taken high and deep to right. Looking up is the right fielder. Still ranging back. And this one is gone. A home run. A two-run blast to straightaway right field as the Yankees move out to a three-to-nothing lead. You don't see this very often off of this starting pitcher. This guy's not used to giving up some bombs, so I'm sure that'll be a wake-up call, and he'll start throwing some better pitches. Into the box, Aaron Judge. And he misses two and one. Well, I think he just kind of lost focus on the mound right there. It, it's clearly not going his way, and he's thinking more about that than the task at hand. And right now, he needs to think about this hitter. The 2 1 is looked at for ball three. three. Ball, now, for four innings, he was great. But here in the fifth, he looks like a completely different guy out there. That happens a lot when a pitcher is facing batters for the second or third time in a game. Too close for comfort, and he did a good job just to make contact. And he will strike him out. Ten now in the ball game, and the inning is over. But they strike for three in the inning. Two on this two-run home run. Bottom of the fifth coming up. It's now 3-0 New York. Set now for the bottom of the fifth. And up next, the exciting Eloy Jimenez. One one is swung on and missed, and that's strike two. You could tell by the hitter's balance after that swing that he's seeing the ball really good. His timing is right there, and I expect him to catch something clean. Swung on and missed. He didn't even come close to contact on a ball way out of the zone. One out. I think he had his mind made up. He was swinging the, the right bat and fielder, trying to protect 32. before the ball even left Jeff the pitcher's Red. hand. That pitch wasn't Jeez. even close. He would have needed a flagpole to hit that one. Into the box now. Gavin Sheets. Below the zone, a swing One and a ball, miss. Hey, I can understand this batter's frustration right here. He's trying to be aggressive and get something going for his team. They are getting shut out in the fifth inning, but that's exactly why they're getting shut out. You need to keyhole and stay on the attack now and make this pitcher Let's come in the middle of the plate. Andrew Vaughn. At the plate, Andrew Vaughn fouled away. Hey, offense needs to check itself right here. They need to make this starter a little bit more uncomfortable. One strike away from five shutout innings. Fastball that's just missed ball. above the zone. And he will strike him out. Ten now in the ball game, and the inning is over. One, two, three, go the White Sox. They trail it here three to nothing. Top half of the sixth about to get started. And coming forward, the veteran outfielder, Joey Gallo. Looking to punch him out again, the pitch.
tough pitch That's to lay off, four. but he did, and it's ball four, so the leadoff hitter is aboard to start the sixth. And this is exactly what you want to do when you're trying to put a start away. Make him work his tail off, throw a lot of pitches, and get on base any way that you can. A big inning at this point of the game, and he's probably gone. Here comes Tony La Russa out of his foxhole at the end of the dugout. And he's going to motion for his bullpen here. That'll do it for the starter tonight. He'll wind up lasting just five innings here. Didn't pitch all that poorly, yet he's gone nonetheless. Michael Kopech takes the ball now here as he'll enter right with a runner at first and nobody out. Michael. Giancarlo Stanton will be the first to stand in against the new pitcher as he'll do so with the runner at first and nobody out. Oh, and they pull the string on a good change up there as he swings and misses, and he's set down on strikes for the second time tonight. Wow, that's awfully impressive right there. The pitch before was really close, called the ball. What does he do? He comes back with a better pitch and gets the punch out. So now to the plate, Anthony Rizzo, high and deep down the left field line, and foul. Struck him out, struck him out again, I should say, his third punch out of the game. What's your take on all the strikeouts we see in the now game batting. today, Dan? That was his third tonight, and it seems we're seeing that a lot more these days. Yeah, Matt, there's been a real change in philosophy as far as hitting in baseball today. A lot of guys think now that an out is an out. A strikeout is just as good as a regular out, but we're seeing strikeouts at an alarming rate in baseball right now. On the ground to third. Moncada gloves it. The easy way to Hernandez to retire the side. So no runs on no hits, no errors, and a runner left on. We'll see eight, nine, and one do up in the bottom of inning number six. It's the Yankees three and the White Sox nothing. Next batter to the plate, Brian Goodwin comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ballgame. The 1 1 home. Ah! One and two is the count. Now a swing and a softly hit ground ball. And there's one down now. Now batting. Catcher, Zach Collins. Now to the plate, Zach Collins flied out in his first at bat, so make him 0 for 1 so far. The White Sox are still looking to break into the hit column here. Fly ball right down the line and left. In there for extra bases, and there goes the no hitter. Now a long throw to third. Well, he is in there with a triple. This is an easy decision for him to try for third because he has the play right in front of him. So he doesn't have to rely on any of his base coaches. Good decision to keep chugging, and he makes it all the way around safely. At the plate now, Tim Anderson. Two and two. The one-two offering looked like a slider that time, but it's two and two. Working for the punch out and the offering. 
timing just to tick off there as this one's fouled off to the right. Not surprised he's laid on a heater right there. Just saw an off-speed pitch. Wanted to stay back a little bit too long. Here's another 2-2. Two -two. No runs, just one hit, and no errors so far for the White Sox. Got him! And he goes down on strikes for the third time. Yet another strikeout for him on the mound, and fellas, this has been one of his favorite victims tonight. The That's the baseman. third time he sent him packing, so he's got him pretty well figured out. Not that the rest of this lineup has been much better. now Cesar Hernandez and he'll take a look at a strike on the inside corner it's one and two did a good job to shorten up and protect the plate and he'll have another shot at it here Try again, one, two. Popped him up. Urshela has room in foul territory. And that's the third out. White Sox leave one. Still down, three, nothing. Seventh inning ready to roll and stepping up as the shortstop, Glaber Torres. And the count will be full. Got him on the good slider there. Swung on and missed as he's down on strikes for the second time tonight. Up next to the now to bat, Gio Urshela. He delivered an RBI Gio single in his last Urshela. trip. Three and two now. One out, nobody on. Now a changeup just ball off four. the plate as that misses for ball four. Now batting, the center fielder, Red. So a runner at first now with one away. And up next, the left-handed hitting Brett Gardner. Now the one and one pitch. Low couple strikeouts early in the game but he's done a much better job in this at bat trying to get ahead and put himself at a good hitters count he's set and the 2 1 pitch and a swing and a miss as that looked like self defense there it's two and two not much he could do with that one tied him up in knots hoping to send him packing pitch on its way and it's three and two now to the number nine hitter. Urshela leads off first with one away. And he misses ball again. Four. Ball four. And that's back to back guys now that have reached base via the base on balls. Now batting. Second baseman. DJ LeMahieu will stand in again as we flash you back to the middle innings here. This was a big blow, a two-run home run that really got his guys going. Good battle. Count remains full. Pulled high in the air out to left field. 
Vaughn is going to get there as he backs up to put it away. And there are two gone now. The right fielder, number 99, Aaron Judge. And that'll bring up Aaron Judge. Two outs and two runners aboard here in the seventh inning. The 1-1 one, one pitch. Now a ball swung on and heading for the stands in right and that'll move the count to one and two now. Looking to wiggle out of this here it is two, two. to two balls and two strikes now. Now two and two two on two out. This is when you have to make a pitch right here. The last thing you want to do is run the count full to three and two. Then the runners are going to be off to the races. From the belt kicks and deals. And he tries to get him to reach for it, but it stays outside three and two. For the guy on the mound, this is one of those innings where nothing comes easy. He's thrown a bunch of pitches, and this A.B. hasn't been any different. Definitely laboring at the moment. The three two pitch. He spoils another one and will do it again. Making him work out there. The ninth pitch of the at bat coming up. He struck him out the third time he's fanned in the game. A couple of walks, but no damage. More at Field of Dreams right after this. So here's the slugging first baseman, Jose Abreu, now. He grounded out last time up. Two and one the count of the White Sox first baseman double barreled action in the Yankee bullpen now a lefty and a right hander start to get loose. Hit on the ground to third scooped up and there's one away. Now batting third baseman. Yo Moncada. Next to hit, Johan Moncada. He lined out in his last trip, so looking for better fortunes here. Yeah, pretty unlucky right there, Matty. Squared up a fastball nicely, and that's all you can do. You just want to be on time for the heater, and he's prepared for this next A.B. One and two. Ah, that fastball's too much for him there. One and two. Maybe trying to back him up a bit there with the fastball. Well, two straight fastballs inside haven't put him away, so now it'll be interesting to see what he turns to. Bases are empty, one man out. Ball. And the fastball misses high and away there. It's full, three and two. You know, you don't always have to straight challenge a guy on a three-two count. With the three-run lead, no one on base, this is the perfect situation to do it. No reason to nibble and possibly set up a big inning. And that's the second out. The batter, the designated hitter, Aloy. Into the box, Emo Jimenez. He hits with two away as they continue to trail in this close game. Well, Matt, this has been a big inning on the mound. He's had to face the middle of the order, and so far he's held them at bay. Yeah, this feels like the kind of inning we'll look back on at the end of the game, even if the result of it changes dramatically here. Cole gets the sign. 3 1 on its way. And this ball misses four. here for ball four. Just the second walk he's issued here into his seventh inning of work. And when your pitch count gets over 100, 
You've got to expect them to lose a little bit of accuracy out there. And I think if he gets in any more trouble, they might come get him. We'll see if he can finish strong. Up next, Gavin Sheets. And we'll see if they can make him pay for the two-out walk. Always considered a big no-no, of course. Here now the 2-2. Two -two. And there's a line drive. Base hit to left field. Hey, this might be their best opportunity to at least get on the board. They've been struggling offensively, and they find themselves with two runners on board. Let's see if they can continue it. In now, Andrew Vaughn. And he's got another one here. 12 punch outs now in the ball game, and that'll end the inning. White Sox strand a couple. They trail in this one, 3 0. Garrett Crochet has been summoned from the bullpen as he'll do so to start the eighth. Number 45, Garrett Crochet. So that brings up the big bat of Joey Gallo. It was a walk in his last trip. I think he held up in time, but that becomes moot as it's a cold One, strike two. two. And a good take there. Close, but it's two and two. Into the windup and the pitch. And he wasn't going to hit that one with an or. The strikeout and there's one gone. Time to take a look at our starter comparison to this point, and the telling numbers can be found on the left side of your screen. Zeros in the run and earned run columns. And digging into the batter's box next will be Giancarlo Stanton. That one yanked just foul. One out, nobody on. And another foul ball. Looked like he was cheating the heater right there. A little bit too far out in front. Got to find a way to keep his hands back. Here he comes on a ball and two strikes. Grounded straight into the shift on the left side. And that's through for his first base hit in this one. And they'll have no play as he reaches first base safely. Up next for the Yankees, the first baseman, Anthony Luther. Standing in now, Anthony Rizzo. Four, and awfully close there on three and two, but take your base, says Earl Hendricks. It's ball four. Man, now that's back. just painful for a pitcher right there. A 3-2 offering that was right on the corner, but he couldn't get him to chase, and he doesn't get the call. Can't beat yourself up about that one too much. To the plate now, Gary Sanchez. And it's fouled away. Stanton over at second. Rizzo at first, one gone. Fastball no, well that's outside. That's two and two. All even at two and two. Here it is. Swing and a miss, and they'll dodge a major bullet that up time. Two away. Pretty standard pitch sequence right there. Just how you draw it up in a perfect world. Jump ahead 0 and 2, and then you toss a change up in the dirt to get him to chase for a strikeout on three pitches. If only it were always that easy. Into the box, Glaber Torres. 
And he's keeping it down here, One and that's two. a cold strike, too. Hey, this is a big pitch right here. Can't allow them to attack on any more runs. Let's see if he attacks his own or buries something in the dirt. And he fouls this one off. Oh, the old classic two-strike, let's throw the fastball right down the middle. Not in this game. Got to believe you got to work the corners a little bit more. Fastball command is paramount at this level. And he struck out again. That's the third time he's gone down on strikes in this one. Yanks strand a pair. But they lead it 3 nothing. Leading off the inning, it'll be Brian Goodwin. And they could use a spark from him here. The 1-1. One, one. Fouled off. Here comes the one two. Popped him up. Sanchez moving to his left makes the play one away. Now batting catcher Zach Collins. So now to the plate Zach Collins. He tripled earlier making him one for two in the ball game. Rounded sharply, but right at that loaded side of the infield. In okay. time to first, and there are two away. The batter number seven. Shortstop, Tim Anderson. And the next to bat will be Anderson. Two away here in the eighth, and time's running out on him, Danny. Yeah, and they don't have a lot of outs left to work with, so it's time for someone to make something happen if they're going to get back into this thing. Cole has his target. Here it is on two and two. And he's got another one. 13 strikeouts now and the inning is over. Down in order go the White Sox. They trail it here three to nothing. Ryan Tapera enters from the pen to start the ninth inning as he'll try to keep the score right where it is heading to the bottom of the ninth. Tapera. All set to start the ninth in this one, and that'll give way to the third baseman, Gio Urshela. The three and one pitch. Eight. Full count. Hit down the third baseline. Mokata has it. Throw on to first for the out, and that is how the ninth inning gets underway. Now batting. And definitely worth another look with our show track data. Great reaction from the hot corner to make the backhand stop, and then he unleashes that very strong throw while in the air all the way across the diamond. He's going to be smiling about that one. At the plate now, Brett Gardner struck him out. Struck him out again, I should say. His third punch out of the game. That's the third time in this game he's gone down on strikes. Not the game he was hoping to have when he was taking batting practice, but at least his guys are ahead. Stepping in now, DJ LeMayhew. Right side, but it's going to be a foul ball. Ready with the one and two.
hit hard on the ground at first. And a sliding attempt at first, but this sneaks by him, a base hit. Adapt and persevere, that's what I always said on the offensive side. Down in the count right there, batter hits a ground ball the other way. He's able to fight off a tough count and get himself a base hit. At the plate, Aaron Judge. Outside, no, two and one. That's the ball. LeMahieu leads off first with a pair of outs in the inning. Cut fastball that time, but he doesn't bite, and now it's three and one. Joey Gallo would be next. The 3-1 takes a strike for a full count now, three and two. Good spot for an RBI. Put the ball in play with the runner in motion. He could score all the way from first. And a fastball misses there. Ball four. Well, he made quick work of the first two guys this up half inning, getting two quick outs, but the then he gives up a base hit Joey and now the walk. Gallo. We'll see if he has it in him to draw the line in the sand and get out of this. Here's Joey Gallo now. 0 for 3 with a couple of strikeouts for him to this point in the ballgame. The 1-1. One, one. That's the ball. Has to be a challenge pitch coming up here. He probably doesn't want to flirt with loading the bases. Two one here it is. Gallo swings and this one is crushed out to right field. Gone. So it's a three-run shot to straightaway right field. As they pile on, it's now six to nothing. No surprise with that swing of the bat. This guy is simply one of the best in the game right now. There's not too many guys that take a beautiful hack like that in the league. Jose Ruiz comes on to pitch now, now pitch hoping for better Mike results Scott. than the other arms Number that they've 66. run out there in this one. Jose Ruiz. In now, Giancarlo Stanton. A swing and a high drive to right center field. A ball that's carrying. And he makes a nice catch on the track as that ends the inning. Another look at the big blow for the Bombers. A three-run home run. Last chance coming up here for the White Sox. And it's all New York. Six-nothing Yanks. Jonathan Loisega, the 5'11 right-handed reliever, enters to take over on the mound now. All set for the bottom of the ninth. And that'll give way to the veteran second baseman, Cesar Hernandez. The 2-1 home. Is strike two swinging, two and, two. and it looks like the Yankees will have a left-hander up and throwing in the bullpen. Fastball swung on and grounded out towards second. Gloved by LeMahieu. And an off-balance throw is in time as he takes one away. Wow! 
fine now line there for the Yankees baseman. starting pitcher. He was great all I'll night long. You. Wow, what a powerful performance. Eight shutout innings in line for the win. Into the box now, Jose Abreu. One and two now as that one's fouled off. Bases are empty, one man out. Now a ball. fastball awfully close, but he doesn't get the call. It's two and two now. And that is swung on and missed, and things are starting to look bleak here for the home nine. There are two away now. Well, we'll see a lot of these power arms coming out of the bullpen in these days, but it doesn't make it any less impressive to me. I love watching guys come in and blow smoke right by guys. Into the box, Johan Moncada. Plays off the breaking pitch, and it's three balls and a strike. Two out, nobody on. And this is taken for a ball. He walked him, and the Sox had themselves a two-out base runner. That is just a great at-bat there. When you're down late, you need now base runners any way you can get them, and that never-say-die mentality could be the difference. We'll see how it plays out. And stepping in, Elo Jimenez. It was a walk in his last trip. Two balls and a strike. Here it is. He's three fallen ball, behind strike. now. Three and one. Gavin Sheets would be next if they can keep this inning alive. Fouled away. 3 2, two out, runner on first. Lots of possible outcomes on this pitch. The White Sox down to their last strike. Swing and a miss. He struck him out, and that'll do it here as the ball game is over. You might think it's just another win, but it's awfully hard to win in this game, especially on the road. But they find a way to get it done, and they should be very happy with this performance. A 6-0 shutout to finish off tonight's game. The New York Yankees used a nice fifth inning to take the lead, and they never gave it back. Garrett Cole earns the victory on the mound. Lucas Giolito struck out 10 in the losing effort. So that will wrap things up for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney, and our whole crew. I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, head to theshow.com. Our final line score tonight, first for the victorious Yankees, six runs, six hits, no errors. They left seven men on base. For the White Sox, no runs on only two hits, no errors. They left five men on base. Time of the ball game, two hours and 51 minutes. Thank you for joining us here this evening. We remind you to please drive home safely.